Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the New Abundant Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation, where today we're talking about building yourself up. We're going to take a look at this passage of Scripture in Jude chapter 1, which tells us to build ourselves up on our most holy faith. And so I've been thinking about this lately, this concept of building ourselves up or edification, because yesterday we talked about that we can be built up by the word of God's grace. The word of God's grace is able to build us up. And I think there's some connections to this concept of building ourselves up. Talked about by praying in the spirit, by praying in the Holy Spirit. Corinthians tells us that he who speaks in an unknown tongue builds himself up. I know a lot of people don't believe in that. A lot of people don't buy into that, you know, speaking in tongues and those types of things. But the scriptures tell us that he who speaks in an unknown tongue edifies or builds himself up. And so I think where we're going with this is understanding that the word of God's grace, it can build us up. And then we've got to build ourselves up in it. And then we've got to be good at edifying other people, building others up around us as well. So let's take a look at the scripture real quick, and then we'll take communion over this today. Jude chapter 1. Verses 20 through 21, it says, But you, beloved, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God as you await the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life, to bring you eternal life. And so, Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful today. Grateful to have you in our lives that you've released us from darkness, you've transferred us into the light, into the kingdom of Jesus. You've given us purpose and grace in Christ Jesus before time ever began. Jesus was smitten so that you could fight for us. And I keep asking that you would just keep helping us to know you more and more, enlighten us to help us to understand and to know just all you've done for us in Christ. We just thank you that you are our healer and our provider. You are more than enough. You're full of grace and truth. You're the God of all grace, the God of all hope, the God of all comfort, the God of all peace. Jesus, you're the resurrection and the life. You're the way, the truth, the life. Lord Almighty, the King of Kings. You've given us all these great and precious promises. And we're asking for your help today. Help us to understand this concept of building ourselves up in our most holy faith. And help us to walk in this consistently. Help us to keep ourselves in the love of God, in your love. Because it is, it is steadfast, it is unfailing. And we thank you that on the night Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread and said, this is my body, broken for you. Do this in your remembrance of me. We'd all missed it. We'd all turned to our own ways and God laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by God, smitten by God. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in God's sight. And God raised him up from the dead. And he seated him at his right hand. And he raised us up together with him. And made us sit together with him. And communion is a celebration of our union with him. Being joined together as one. And so, Father, I thank you for this bread. And ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that releases us from darkness and transfers us into the light. 
into the kingdom of Jesus. And he's a great king. His blood washes us and cleanses us and gives us a fresh start in life. We get to walk out this day today in a covenant relationship with him. So, Father, I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. If you have your juice, you can take your juice. So normally after a time of communion, we talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. So I just want to talk about a reminder today. Building yourself up. Building yourself up. Building your body. A lot of times the world has taught us we've got to tear our bodies down to make it better. In your physical exercise, building yourself up, taking a more gentle approach, building your body over time. Take a more gentle approach at it. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.